Hi guys, it's Tiny Taste Shenanigans and I'm back today with some skincare routine shenanigans. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and like and comment. If you are returning, hello, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys my skincare routine. I just got out of the shower, so it is really hot in here. And as you can tell, the lighting is not nearly as good as my normal videos, as you can see this lovely shadow behind me. But it is really hard to get everything set up and get good lighting. So I picked my poison and went with a good setup instead of good lighting today. So let's get into this video. The first step to washing your face is wash your hands. I normally use like Dial or um, Dawn, but this is what I have in my bathroom right now as I'm unprepared for this video. So <laughs> I will get my hands washed with this. And while I'm doing this, I usually wet my towel. Alrighty, so then the first thing that I do is wash my face with African black soap. This is real African black soap, meaning it was made by Africans. I bought this from a small shop in Milwaukee, my hometown. Um, and it has different ingredients versus the fake black African soap, which is like the Shea Moisture brand black African soap. Um, the real black African soap has like, um, I don't know, diff not necessarily better ingredients, but just different ingredients. And you'll, you can kind of feel that in the consistency of the soap. But I have used the fake black African soap and I liked it and it worked really well on my skin. So, I don't know. It really just depends on your skin. I don't have a specific skin type. Like, I wouldn't say my skin is more oily than it is anything else. But, you know, we all know our skin and we know what our skin can handle. So, I would just say use your best discretion. So, I get my towel all soaked up. Get a good lather going on that. Perks of living in an apartment is you can hear when other people turn on their water as well. I can't really see the suds, but I promise my face is wet. <laughs> so then I just warm up my towel and wash that off with water. Well, I wash out all the soap and then I wash out my face with water. You know, guys, I really hope that you all had a good day today. I really was unsure on filming this video. Because this is such a, like, awkward angle. But I was just like, here we go. And we're doing it. So, now that we have that done. And then I spray myself, my face, with this MAC Prep and Primer. kind of just look at my face and see if I have any like pimples coming in or any blemishes or anything um and then if I do I will use this Burt's Bees blemish stick this works wonders I have a really hairy face so sometimes I just get like pimples from hair this takes it out right away this gets rid of anything and it gets rid of scarring I used to have really bad facial scarring I um, and this helped it 1,000%. I will give a little fair warning. It sings just a tiny bit, but nothing you can't handle, right? And I think I'm really good for it right now, so I'll just let that be. Then next, I put on my Olay Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. My mom got this for me. I'm not quite sure where she got it from. 
and it's supposed to help with my bags and a dark like eye area from my allergies so then I usually do this really get it in the corner of my eye because it gets pretty dry there this is what it looks like it is kind of that yellow orange tint it's not really the bottle that makes it that color the it is that color <laughs> okay and then after that I put on the brightening gel cream by the same maker Put that all around my eye area. Get that rubbed in really nicely. And then, next I oil my face, the rest of my face obviously. I use this jojoba oil, which is a carrier oil that I get from the vitamin shop. I usually get it when it's buy one, get one half off because um, it's a better deal then. It is so hot in here guys, I just took a shower and now I'm filming this video. I had the air thing on, but obviously that would have ruined the sound on this video. Then I can just pump a little bit of that out. A little bit goes, yeah. <laughs> A little bit goes a long way. I do really get my forehead, my nose, and the crack of my nose. It's really dry. Rub that one. I sometimes just touch my eyelashes with it because it does help your eyelashes grow. Well, it helps hair growth. So. So my eyebrows are so bushy. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm letting my eyebrows grow out grow out because I'm kind of liking the look of it. So we're just rolling with that. Yeah, we made a lot of clap, sorry guys. <laughs> but that completes my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Please comment any skincare tips that you have below. I'll be linking these products below. If you have anything to say about my skincare routine, feel free to comment that below as well. I hope you all enjoyed. Bye!